Jim Ollie, Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com here from the Rogers Center in Toronto, Canada. Well, the three-digit privateer guys are finishing up their final practice before we get into racing tonight. I made some notes here. Ryan Dungey, Kennard, and James Stewart. That was the top three in the first time practice, but they came out for the second time practice. James Stewart, a 51.8. Trey Kennard, a 52.9. And Chad Reed, a 53.0. I think the track tonight's going to be good. I talked to a lot of the riders. Uh, a lot of guys were worried about some of the rocks. They were running some heavier tubes. They were running a little bit higher tire pressure, but they went down back down about a pound on the tire pressure and got rid of some of the uh, heavy duty tubes because they didn't like the way the bike felt out there. But a lot of rocks tonight, not as ruddy as years past. As far as the lights go, it's still the same old thing. Number 25, Ryan Sipes on the DNA Shred 6 Yamaha. He was first fastest in that time practice, followed by Wilson and Malcolm Stewart uh, was third fastest. They came out for their final practice in the lights uh, time practice. It was. Ryan Sipes again with a 53-0, followed up by Wilson with a 53-2. And then in that third spot, the man who leads that championship uh, point series on the East Coast on the lights, Justin Barca with a 54-0. The lights uh, seem to be doing everything that the 450s are doing. The lights racing should be interesting, and hopefully everybody in that lights class makes it into the main event, unlike we had last weekend when Baggett didn't make it, and then on the Supercross class we had had uh, Villapoto not making it. He was the points leader as well as Justin Brayton. So it'll be interesting here tonight in Toronto, Canada.